Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to find all 13 collectibles here in Fort Kalen and Jedi Survivor. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So we're gonna start here at the Fort Kalen meditation site that's located right in the middle of Fort Kalen. And as soon as you spawn in, we wanna come right over here to this building and right over here on the other side of these crates, you're gonna be able to scan. We're gonna go ahead and scan this to get our first collectible. Now, after you scan this, if you turn to your right, you're gonna have a spot where we can actually grapple up top. We're gonna to come right up here. We're gonna take a left and go through this door. Now, if you don't have this door open, what you can do is just double jump and dash across to this bridge. We can then go inside and you can open up this door for a shortcut, which is pretty nice. After opening that door, we'll come right over here. You'll have a lot of enemies that are hanging out in this area. And as you guys can see, we have a treasure in the middle of this thing. But if you go to get it, this door is going to open up and you're going to have to fight a monster in here. Now, I've already taken out the monster, but once you take him out, you can come right over here and grab this treasure. So we'll go ahead and pick that treasure up and then we can run to the back of the room over here. We're going to have a chest. We can go ahead and open up that chest and we'll get our third collectible. Now, after you grab the collectibles in this dungeon, we're going to head back outside. We can just go through this door down here and climb the vines to get back up. And once we're over here, we can go right to exit and we're going to just hang a left back toward the meditation site. And we're going to go back through the room that we got our last collectible in before we went into the dungeon. And this time we're going to take a right. So we can come right back here around the corner and you guys, it'll be pretty hard to miss. You'll see it. It's this blue glow in front of the door. You can go ahead and open up that and get your next collectible. Now, after you pick this one up, we'll turn around and head back toward the meditation site. And if you're facing the meditation site, you can see this building that's directly in front of us. We're going to go inside of here. We're going to have something else that we can scan. So if we go around the back side right here, you're going to have a little spot where you can scan. Go ahead and scan that for your next collectible. Now, after you've scanned this, we're going to turn to the left and work our way over here to this cave. Now, if you haven't been over here yet, there's going to be a lot of droids as well as the ship opening up and releasing a lot more. So you need to take out all the droids that are in this little hangar room uh, or you're not going to be able to open up this chest. But if you come right over here and work your way up the stairs, you're going to have a chest over here on the right side that you can open up. And once you've opened this up, we're going to head back outside and we're gonna to go to the right of this ship. So as soon as we leave, we can go to the right and you guys will see this little ramp. We'll work our way up this ramp and this door in front of us is gonna have a little crack in it and we can sneak through that. So we'll sneak through this crack. We're then gonna take a left and go across this bridge. And then we're gonna go across this bridge here in front of us and we're gonna be able to grapple. So we're gonna come up here and grapple and we're gonna jump right up here and you'll see that there's a door over here that also has a crack in it. So we can sneak through here and we're gonna have a chest that's behind this cage. To get in there, we need to speak with this guy and use mind control. So we'll go ahead and start talking to him. When it gives you the ability, use the mind control. And then we're gonna click untrustworthy. And once he's done talking, you guys will see that the gate will open and we can now open up this chest. And once you've opened up this chest, we can then head back outside. So we'll sneak right through this crack. And you guys can see right over here in this little building, we're gonna have a blue glow in the corner. We can go right up to that and that'll be our next collectible. After you grab that one, if you turn around in the other corner on the opposite side, we're gonna be able to scan. That'll be another collectible. After grabbing the two in here, we're gonna head back outside. We're gonna go across this bridge right here to our right. We'll just work our way across this bridge. And once we get to the end, we're gonna go across the bridge on the right side over here. So if we come right over here, we'll have another one. Go all the way down and in the middle here, we're going to have another collectible. So you can come up to this one and you can grab this one. Now, our last three collectibles are going to be seed pods. To get those, we're going to come over here and drop down over this ledge. And you'll see right here on the side of the mountain, we're going to have some vines. We can jump onto those vines and we'll just work our way down. You don't need to go all the way down to the bottom, but we want to get right over here. We can just drop down and I think you can just slide down there. But we're going to immediately turn around. You'll have some of those little chicken enemies over here you need to take out. We're going to be looking for seed pods. Our first one's going to be directly back this way. If you come over here, you'll start to see the green glow. So I'll go ahead and grab that one. That'll be your first seed pod. You guys can see it's directly across from the vines. Your next one's going to be at the top of the hill over here by the gate. So come right over here to the far left of this gate. And you'll see this big bush right in front of it. And this bush is going to be our second seed pod. So you can go ahead and take that one out. And then our third and final seed pod and collectible is going to be right over here. We can just drop down this ledge. You guys will see this bush right here with the green orbs. Go ahead and take that out. And you've got all 13 collectibles. But that's how to find all 13 collectibles here in Fort Kalen. If you guys have any other questions, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below. And we'll see you guys in the next video.